Planet community, it's amazing that you are all here today again. Today we have again a, an English version. So we are switching from German to English and today it is in English because today I have a beautiful guest from Uganda, Muyingo James. <laughs> hey James. <laughs> hello, uh, hello, how are you? <laughs> yeah, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you here. Um, I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy to have a chat with you here on the podcast, yeah. It's really amazing that you took yourself the time to, yeah, that you give us the time, your time. You have a lot to do, I know. And we yeah. will explain now, you, you are allowed to explain what you are doing and uh, we will go into this. But first, I would like to ask you, can you explain firstly who you are? Who are you and where are you right now? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, yeah, yeah, my name is Muyingo James. Uh, I, I live in Uganda, and uh, and specifically, I'm in Mitiana district. Uh, that's where I live. Um, I'm 28 years of age, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a teacher by profession. I teach mathematics and physics at secondary level. Okay. Uh, and uh, I graduated way back in 2018. That's when I graduated for my degree. Mm -hmm. And um, I've not been so much into the profession for so long because of COVID that has hit us for just quite two years now. Mm -hmm. And really, um, we're just waiting for just January to just go back to teach. And probably that's, that's me. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, re I'm really happy to meet you here. Yeah. <laughs> so, Thank you. I did not even know that you are a teacher of mathematics and physics. Wow. Yeah. That's quite, um, uh, uh, quite complicated um, <laughs> topics. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, mathematics and physics, somehow it, it's complicated to, to some students here, you know. Mm. Uh, but as time goes on, you know, these students, uh, we need to make it simple and simple, but probably that's what I do. And uh, I like <laughs> it. Yeah. I think yeah. to make complicated things simple is not so easy always. That's that's quite a hard job, I think, to make the complicated things simple, as simple as possible. <laughs> yeah, so uh, about the my how I started the foundation. Yes, exactly. Uh, Wait a second. Jemo, um, yeah. well, people call you Jemo. That's why I say Jemo right now sometimes, okay? Is this okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, exactly. I, I, like, I just like it when people call me Jemo, they, they, they got the, the name from James. So mm -hmm. they just call me Jemo and I feel like I, I, I have nothing to do with it, but it's just quite good, I know. <laughs> you like it? Okay. Yeah, I like it and that's where, that's where I got the name for my foundation. So I call it Jemo Foundation. Exactly. That's why I interview you today because the Sanus Planet community, they, yeah. they should get to know you and your foundation. It means you don't really have the foundation completely um, registered yet, but you are about yeah. to do that. You just need a yeah. bit of help. And that's why we want to yeah. interview, I want to interview you today that the Santa Clara community can get to know you. What, uh, what is the JMO Foundation? What are you doing? Or what do you plan to do in the next years as well? But you are already doing so much. So what is this? So, uh... When we went, when we went into the lockdown in 2020, that was March. Hmm. Um, things turned out to be very bad. Some communities here, and um, we had a number of uh, children who, first of all, the, we we have a number of them in our district here who are orphans. And when COVID hit uh, hit us. Uh, and a number of families and you know uh, communities went so much bankrupt mm -hmm. because uh, their businesses and so on were down you know so uh, the children or the orphans around my village here they they really suffered a lot so i saw a number of them that are struggling and uh, even they the uh, schools were closed and you know they went uh, they went um, for quite a long period of time without doing anything. So they, they, they stayed quite a long period of time at home and time reached when the families could not raise the best needs for these children. Mm -hmm. And I got touched myself because a number of them 
turned out to be street vendors at just quite a young age. Mm. And this one could put their lives into danger, you know, because they are too young to sell things on streets. And so they could sell groceries, mangoes, something like that. So so that they can earn some little money so that they can take back home and have something to eat, yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, I looked up to this and I was really touched about it. So that's why I came up with this idea. So I have a friend of mine, so whom I'm working with, with the foundation here. He's a, she's a fellow teacher, she's a lady. Uh, I, I, I teach with her. So we organized some little savings that we had and we went down to the market and we bought some closets because they were really badly off. So our first item was to create some clothes and then that's how we started. So we started with just seven children and really the number kept on increasing due to the demands. And currently now in the foundation, we have 25 children who are currently with us. And I don't know whether the number will increase, but I know we are still counting, uh, but our main emphasis for creating this foundation was to, to put, I mean, to create uh, a, a, a good future for these children first. Because, yeah. okay. you know, they are living really a hard life. And, you know, we, I don't personally, I don't even believe that even in January, as I told you last time that, you know, it's, we don't believe that uh, we shall get an opportunity for these children to go back to school. I don't, I'm, I'm not so sure currently whether we shall manage, I don't know, mm-hmm. but the main emphasis for us was to make sure that these children have a bright future. Mm-hmm. We make sure that we create some uh, development opportunities for this project so that it can make some savings for the children to go back to school. That's the main emphasis. Because we believe that when a child is at school, um, he can really stay safe at school. You know, he can have good education. He can have a couple of connections here and there so that he can have a bright future at school. So that's probably how why we created this so we wanted to make sure that these children are safe Mm -hmm. and don't find uh, problems especially girls now they we are too young and you know uh, some people here you know can take advantage of girls but you know it's that's probably that's the reason why we we put this we wanted to put these children together and we live with them, we guide them, and we keep them until school resumes, and we shall see whether they can resume. But that one is still into the process, and that's probably why we, I created this foundation, probably to make sure that the children who are specifically orphans find um, a better future. Yeah. That's probably how I did it. At first, it was at first it was very hard for me because in Uganda here, um, because it's we really earn little. Uh, Uganda is one of the poorest countries. I think that one is almost known by some people. So personally, I, I at the end of the month I was earning uh, less than one hundred US dollars. That's quite little money, and really. Uh, it was not easy for me to the start because I, I was thinking hard where I could get basic needs for these children. And, uh, and that's, the, 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 uh, that's why I, I started looking for funders to help me so that I can put my objective forward. Mm-hmm. And it's really hard. It was really hard because uh, when we broke off to from school, mm-hmm. we could not get salaries anymore. Uh, our salaries we could not get. So it, it was really hard. And we, were, yeah, we have been depending on just garden food. We have a garden here. So we get some food here. 
but the main problem was when one of the children would fall sick, that's when we could find a lot of problems mm. because our money was really very little for us to run these things here. Mm -hmm. And that's why even uh, we have not yet registered our foundation because really the money uh, that we would use to, re to register our foundation, we could really use it to buy basic needs. Yeah. And that's probably one of our major uh, major objectives in 2022. We want to make our foundation registered. Mm. Uh, we want to put up developmental projects for the foundation so that we, we also pay some of our basic needs on our own. And that, that's what we, we are aiming at. Then probably even getting our orphanage home, our own home, that's one of the uh, the objective that we want to achieve in the next coming year. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. How have you been able to to help these kids for now? Because it's all costing so much money. Where did you take the money so far to do this? What did how did you manage this? Um uh first of all I went around in the village and uh, uh I uh, I was reaching to uh, I was targeting some rich people, rich families. Mm -hmm. I could go there and, you know, ask for if they can give us some food. Mm -hmm. so, that, so our main problem probably was for basic needs. And that's the, 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 how we've been getting uh, some, some food. I, 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 I was just going to some rich people, mm -hmm. travel a long distance and so that I can ask if they can give us some money, if they can give us clothes. So that's how we've been doing. And uh, I've been doing also, uh, I've, I've been doing a side hustle here. I've been selling some groceries, but we've been selling and the profits that we get, we, we as well put back in the foundation so that we run some budgets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how we've been doing it. And um, but, I mean, you, you yourself, you are an orphan too, right? Yeah, I'm an orphan. I, I lost both my parents when I was in high school, mm -hmm. way back. But uh, so I, I personally feel I don't want these children to go and live a life that I used to live in because I, I suffered a lot, despite the fact that I, I, I finished my studies because I was... I was hoped by someone to finish my studies, but it was really a side hustle because I spent some few years without going to school and later I resumed. So I really know what being an orphan is and I really don't want these children that we look after so to live the same life. So we want them to live a different life. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what drove me. That's what drives me to help them because I want them to have a very bright future yeah. so that they can provide, they can provide uh, good, um, I mean, good health for themselves in future. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, uh, I don't know how to call it, which words to use, but it's on one side, it's so beautiful that people who face themselves quite hard situations in their lives, I see many yeah. times that these people like you in this case as an orphan want to give back to other children in the same position like you have been and you want to change yeah. this situation for so many people. This is beautiful and I just can't thank you for this. It's really, yeah. really beautiful. So thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying. I, I, I don't have so much. I'm, I'm, I'm not that person who's rich. I, 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 I probably don't have money, but... Uh, I just, I just, the little that I get, that's what, that's what I divide to just help children mm. and just going to people, ask for food, like the, like of recent, mm. we received some goodies from university students. I went at the college myself mm -hmm. and I asked whether they can help us. So they prepared, I didn't know, but they, they gave us a visit last week. Mm -hmm. And they bought us so many goodies that you can mm -hmm. use in Christmas holiday. And nice. that's how we're doing it, yeah. Nice. That's beautiful. But I don't, I don't I, it's not like I have money. Mm -hmm. Because I even 
earn less than $100 in a month. And that's really quite small to mm. look up to, to look after the 25 children because we have to pay so many bills. Mm. They have to, they have to, they have, they need clothes. They need, uh, we pay water bills, food and so many other things. But mm. at some point I, I, I felt like I should withdraw, but because I, I, I was left with no money and children were just there looking at me. Mm. So, but I was, I said strong, I, I said strong myself and uh, I prayed to God so much that he can help me accomplish the objectives of this foundation. Mm -hmm. So I prayed so hard that we get at least some people who can help us yeah. to pay some of our bills. And uh, I, I pray in future, maybe, we can get someone who can help us. Yeah. yeah. I am doing what I can and all the Samus Planet Foundation and the community yeah. can hear this today and they can decide to support even very much that we can support you in future because this is a really big cause. So I think that's very, very much needed. So guys yeah. who are listening right now, help, please help. We have so many things and we so many things we don't even need. I personally, I personally, I'm moving out of my apartment soon and yeah. I sell everything I have or I give things away because I don't need so much of these things and I want to give it the way I, I did never buy a lot of things, but I got from friends to all the things I need in my apartment. I don't need yeah. this for my personal needs. It's, it's not needed. So I can give so many things away so I can use this money to do something good with it. And that's, that's my, my goal, in my personal life, what I feel it's so much needed. I think everyone out there, everyone who's listening today, I think that everybody can donate five or 10 euros. It's not really hurting us. So I think, I, I think that's so important that we help each other. We are all one big family. It's important. Yeah. And they, Jamo, yeah. do you have, do you have one situation or what, what are the, what are the biggest problems that orphan children face? Is it mainly because that they have to go to work on the streets and which is dangerous or are there, is there more um, like hunger? What, what are the biggest problems they face? What do you think? What's... So the biggest problem that these students are facing right now, rather the children, what they are facing right now is uh, first of all, it's the, the basic needs that it's really hard for us. Mm. So he needs, uh, I can say, food, mm. um, clean water, mm. um, then clothes, mm. and the main import, the main issue that I'm looking up to, and what I think would be my first priority next year would be these children going back to school. That that thing puzzles me so much when I think about it because I think when they go back to school. And they can have a bright future because we, 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 uh, they can stay at school and, and this can guide them and stop them from going to streets, uh, yeah. vendor, uh, uh, selling, selling some, th some groceries, which puts, them, which puts their lives in danger because they are just too young mm -hmm. to go to, to, to streets. So the main problem with basic needs, sometimes they, we get shortage of food Mm -hmm. And uh, if food is not enough for us, and yeah. I have I, I yeah. have no option for that, and it's really hard to see a, ch a child of just five years just struggling to get what to eat. Really, hunger is one of our, our problems, also. Yeah, and yeah. I really like uh, hope on hunger. It's it's it, it's really bad. Yeah. I don't know how to do about it, but. Those are the two problems, uh, basic needs and school fees for the children. Yeah. And I'm very, very happy that we met and that I can see and do the best I can to support you in this cause for the foundation as well. And I think mm -hmm. as soon as you have the possibility to create your foundation, you can even yeah. get some support from other people. People can donate to you. All of yeah. the people who are listening right now, this is important. Some people want to do and do already so much, but have not the money and the possibility to create their own foundation because it costs some money too. Let us help there. Let us help there because it is just needed. And as soon as long as people are on the street, children are working on the street, 
the, the future of them will not change to a bright one, to a good one. And that does not create a better, a better future for anyone in the end. It's all coming back to us all. We are all one family. It's important. Yeah. 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 Hey, Gemma, what, what um, did you ever, as an orphan, did you ever, what was the situation that was the hardest for yourself? Do you have any story you want to share with us? What was so hard for you in this time? Because for a while you have not going have not been able to go to school, right? Yeah. yeah. Was this was, was this quite? I mean, you know how it is if you cannot go to school. Was there a situation that was quite hard for you in this time? Uh, no, uh, you know, being an orphan, it's um, it's really too bad, and you would need so many things mm. because one you cannot. You can you 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 are denied access to school, mm. and that's really too bad because you know there is there were school shapes children in the right manner you know, mm. and uh, <clears throat> when often stay on streets, mm. just uh, moving around you know, first of all they are exposed to to danger. You know, like uh, like of recent, they, they some children are, are knocked down by cars because you know they are too young, and you know being on main road just walking around, it's really too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, for example, girls, I, I feel for them because uh, they are girls, and you know they need much help. You know, mm -hmm. uh, some of them are already adolescent girls. You know, they miss out on uh, the sanitary gadgets. You know. The, the, the pads and so on. So some, uh, we believe that there's, the, the, I, I have ever witnessed where men, mm. old men can take really advantage of these girls and maybe in exchange to get pads. And, mm. and that one is really bad and it's yeah. too bad. And you know, during this lockdown, we have registered a number of uh, children giving birth, unwanted birth, unwanted pregnancy, because they are orphans. They don't have where to live. Mm. Personally, I felt I stayed for quite a year at home when I was not going to school because I was an orphan. And the pain that I felt is really too, I, I mean, the, it was, I was in too much pain. And mm. After witnessing all this happening to me, I wouldn't love to see any other children going into the same, same, same life that I went through when I was an orphan. Yeah. And yeah, it's I... it, it's it's not it's not good to be an orphan. Mm -hmm. And some children here, when you are an orphan and you don't have a home where to live, some they sleep on roads. You, you find children just lying on streets, sleeping, they spend the night there, you know, mm. they help, their health is put in danger. They, I mean, they find so many problems, like, I know, and Uganda being one of the poorest countries, uh, it mm. tends to be so worse, yeah. so worse. Yeah. That, yeah, I got that. Uh, some people ask me, <clears throat> some people ask me if it's possible to send, uh, to send uh, clothes like uh, use clothes, but I think that's not an easy thing to do, right? Because to yeah. send clothes from yeah. Europe to your home, that does not make so much sense as it is at the border, you will maybe not even receive them, right? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, one time I, I got into connection with some lady, she was in Norway. Mm -hmm. uh, she was trying to, maybe she told me she wants to send some clothes. And I don't know that sent them but we lost connection but what i know she told me the 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 clothes might have been maybe lost along the way to uganda and i think that one can't work mm. personally myself i think it can't work because there are so many chances that these things get lost along the way to uganda so yeah. we might not receive them yeah so i think that the which is the the, the most important or the most the biggest help you can get at the moment is that people donate some money to you. And I think yeah. that when people listen to this, what you say, they can feel that you're there working with your whole heart to change something. People will yeah. feel 
how how true and honest you are and i think that's that's why i make this podcast people need to hear and to listen and to feel the people that that need some support so guys when you listen here to this listen with your heart and support people like Gemmo because it's so so much needed thank you so much for what you do do you um, do you personally have some hope do you have hope that it's getting better that things are changing for the good or how is that situation for you um uh, i'm getting hope now because i'm talking to you now and i know uh, if this podcast reaches to a number of people out there, they, uh, I can get hope that maybe we can get funds from uh, from them. Mm. Yeah, that's the, the yeah. hope that I have. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure that maybe we, it, it will be better in future. But I think the problem is, uh, I think if we get some funds, that's when I will get hope. Yeah. And yeah, that's how I will be getting hope when I receive something from people, helpers who have the, the heart yeah. of hope. Yeah. What is uh, what is the most important thing you still want to share? Because our podcast is finished soon. The last your last words today in this podcast. What do you want to share mainly with this community that is listening today? Um my last words. Um about the podcast is to I humbly I humbly request whoever can afford to help uh, the young generation uh, please try and help us uh, with all what you can afford we don't mind how much you can give us however small it could be we could, it can help us to settle some things mm-hmm. uh, and so you can give in whatever that you have so and we would be very appreciative as well if we receive funds from any one of you who feels that we need help so that's probably my last words for the people on this podcast and we shall be appreciative and i know children will be very happy after mm-hmm. receiving help from yeah. you yeah Demo, I say I say very very much thank you for this interview today and for your time, and yeah. we at the Sanus Planet Foundation we will try our best and see how we can support, and yeah. all of the people who are listening right now, this is why my heart burns for this project because this yeah. is why we can all together create a better world and support each other and and become an inspiration for other people as well who don't know how they can deal with their lives how they can uh, uh, how they can live this life in a better way and we can yeah. all be part of this so we can support each other thank you thank you so much demo thank you yeah time. yeah thank. yeah so that's uh, that's the that's my uh, I'm, i mean that's my that's my expression and um i really thank everyone who, who has been on the podcast and i think uh, we shall as well all be happy and we shall be extremely happy if we have our foundation registered mm-hmm. in January. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So I will be very happy if our foundation is registered and it, 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 will, it, it, it will give us a step for other people out there to give us funds. Yes. So we need it registered and we shall be really thankful. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Demo. I wish you an amazing day and thank you all of the Sanus Planet community for listening to this podcast today. Let's stay in touch and listen. Yeah, let's stay in touch. Let's help each other. And I'm pretty sure that we can we can create a better world. So thank you all for having been here. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>